If you've just tuned in, good evening and welcome. We, in the second segment of the show, we're chatting black ball pool. We've had a discussion about softball. We're now moving on to more balls. Lenuke, <laughs> you well? I'm Lenuke Tachetti. I'm a player of black ball pool, and I'm also in PR and marketing for Western Cape Black Ball. Welcome. The man with a wonderful name, are you well? <laughs> yes, correct. I'm Alton Rinquist, and I'm the chairperson of Western Cape Black Ball, as well as a player. So... Black ball pool. What is the difference between that and snooker and black ball pool? Any one of the two of you can explain that to me. Because I'm confused. Size of the balls and size of the table. <laughs> um, snooker got 15 red balls and color balls. You have to shoot a red ball and then a color ball to score. Whereas black ball pool, you got it's made out of 15 balls where you choose a color and once you drop all your colors, then you drop the black. Okay. So it's all about sequence and points. Correct. Snooker, yeah, snooker is points. Snooker is points, black balls about finishing the table as quick as possible. So, and the one has numbers and the other one has colours? Or th does it make a difference? Mm -mm. Um, black ball is currently played with colour balls, either yellow and red or yellow and blue or with a black. So it's more, there's no points on the core colors on it it's just snooker that has that okay yeah snooker is a set of red balls with uh, colored balls on the table as well you pot a red ball and you pot a colored ball thereafter the colored ball determines how many points, points you're going to get so a guy and the red ball and a guy who's colorblind like me it's not going to work for me but that's another issue altogether <laughs> you guys recently hosted the sa champs out in grand west that was a huge event yes i mean there was how many players Probably about three, four hundred people there, if if that many. Well, all nine provinces were represented, yep. as well as um, the South African Police Service and the South African National Defence Force. They are invitational uh, players, and they act like a tenth and eleventh province. So, and uh, d uh, all divisions that were represented were the ladies, the under twenty threes, the men's division, the masters, and the seniors. So, yeah, a lot of players, and uh, depending on the membership in each province, uh, that would determine. Uh, how many teams each province would send? Basically, there was um, 16 teams in uh, section, which make 80 players per division. So it could be about 400 in all divisions. It was there were there were lots of people there. Lots and of people. All you saw was uh, every oak walking around with a cue bag. That's all I remember. Yes. At least one or two cue bags. Correct. Yeah. What makes a cue so special? Wow. Um, the better the cue, uh, the better your shot generally. And those of us who are playing in the Premier Division, they will uh, invest a lot of money in decent cues that are usually custom made according to their height and their stance. And, 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 and what does a cue cost? 3,000 Rand? Um, entry level, around about 350 Rand. Some goes up as far as 20,000 Rand. Then you get, uh, which is in South Africa, Cosmic Sponsors, certain of the top players also, so they get mm. their names on specially made cues for them once you reach a certain status. Mm. So you normally want to play with an ounce of Q and a tip that is suitable for you. Like my preference, I like an 18 ounce with a 10 mil tip. So you've got a different medium, hard, soft. So it's your weapon basically and what, depending on your style of play, that will determine that the Q and the tip that you play with. Sure, yeah, so that's a very a technical. Mm. A beginner player mm. though can obviously start with a, an affordable <coughs> Q. We're looking at 100 Rand upwards. Um, at any uh, you know stockist, and they can start with that, and uh, you find that as their um, their level of uh, play increases, sometimes the tip of the cue would decrease, or the width, the diameter of the tip would increase, depending on how good your accuracy okay. is. Let's have a look at someone who had great accuracy in the last tournament. Let's check out the foot. Uh, let's check out the pictures and see. Uh, Elton, take us through some of these pictures. Uh, the Western Cape winners. Yeah, that was our uh, Western Cape uh, A team. Um, from the team, there is the South African current champion there, Kevin Martin, on the left-hand side of the manager, which was uh, Jed, uh, Jerome Swartz. There's a top seed on, the, on the, his left-hand side also, who's Marcelino James. They both made the SA team as well as um, Clint Peterson on the other side. So they were the champs on the team events, and they were runners-up in the speed pool. Okay, well, we'll explain this, the speed pool in a minute. 
That's the, the whole Western Cape team that uh, won, obviously, the trophies. The speed pool, I thought, was very exciting. Tell me a bit about that, that so that people understand what speed pool? Yes, okay. Speed pool, what we do is we have five players. You stand at the beginning of a table. Um, you choose your order of who you think is going to start and who's going to finish. Normally, you use a strategy. So my team, which was the Western Cape 3, in the juniors, we won the speed pool. Our strategy was we were going to mix our strong player up front, strong player at the back, and, uh, and our next um, strongest in the middle. Um, one of our guys, Jaden Lekay, he set the fastest time. He cleared the whole table, all 15 balls in 45 seconds. Wow. So that took some beating. Uh, the team cleared all five tables with all 75 balls, basically, in seven and a half minutes. Sure. That's uh, impressive. Imp very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> What's next in your uh, calendar of events? Well, um, excitingly uh, enough, there is uh, this weekend, well, tomorrow, Saturday, at two shots in Kales River, Fanry Beck Street. Our men's division will be pay playing the provincial tournament uh, for the guys to qualify to represent Western Cape in the upcoming essays next year, January, February. Um, people are invited to come there and watch them play to see what kind of the standard of pool uh, that there is in Western Cape. And, uh, and also, there'll be people available if you have any queries and if you'd like to play in our upcoming seasons. How do the seasons work? Because people don't have a clue. Uh, people think you go to a pub and you hustle with a queue and that's uh, how you get into a team. Is that how it works, Alta? Uh, our year starts in the beginning of uh, March. We will have our AGMs. And then we um, have the leagues that is applying. They'll apply. From the 1st of April, all leagues should start being up and running. Currently, we got um, nine venues uh, nine and 11 leagues that is currently playing, both in um, the Cape Metro as well as in the Cape Winelands. We've started now with Darling. We're starting now in April. Nice. And um, we're going up in November to Central Karoo to go and start a Blackpool League in Beaufort West. Nice. So, so is it predominantly played in pubs or because that's, that's the, <laughs> the problem. Conception, that's yes. misconception. No. Yeah, sure. yeah. misconception. We've it's moved away from that. It's a misconception. We've moved away from that. Um, Blackpool um, was, it's pl some is played in pubs, but predominantly because we're trying to get, um, make it a family sport. So we play it in the normal pool venues that also were the juniors that does not have alcohol. So, so give me an example of a normal pool venue. Would Stones be regarded as a no. pool venue? No, that's not a league venue. No offense, Stones. That's not a league venue. Stones, not uh, a league uh, venue. Because no. we don't understand the difference. Yeah. I'm asking what's a, a normal a league social venue. venue. Yes, okay. a, league, a league venue would cater specifically for ideal play uh, conditions. Uh, conditions. Okay. So it has to be conducive to play. So the, the space between the tables, etc., the, 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 the quality of the tables, the quality of the cloth, the quality of the balls, all of those things are taken into consideration. Narrens in Lansdowne is one venue that is conducive to, to play. Uh, another it would be Western Province Pool Academy, Pool Academy in Colorado. Mitchell's Plain in Colorado. Very popular venue as well. Lots of tables. Do you know how many tables they have there? There's about 40 tables and it's all, what we try to do is have venues that has Simona's cloth, Adamith balls, um, United pool tables because okay. they are sponsors of black pool. So what you're doing is you want to play on quality of tables that you can get at the nationals. Okay. So there's certain specs mm. that they have there. So if you apply for a venue and want to become a venue, we try to make sure that you stick to those criteria and set that in a handbook. So we try to keep it, and keep it strictly, to, strictly the to the book. Mm. Go going forward, what's... What's your plan going forward as a, as, a, as a federation in terms of youth, in terms of women, development? In terms of development, currently we, we started a project in Darling, which we have another project going in terms of juniors in Atlantis. We're looking at Heidefeld now, we're busy in Heidefeld. We're starting with the SAP guys in Bishop Lavis from um, April month. We also got the schools project going in Mitchell's Plain. Uh, we've got the project going in Mitchell's Plain as well as another one in Somerset West. And then in Cape Winelands, we've got extensive projects um, under Mr. Osman, who has four projects running, one in the Hicks Valley, Breda Valley, Drakenstein, and we're looking to go as far as uh, Salambosch now. So Juniors has been our main focus at uh, under 18s, under 23s, and the ladies. That is where we're focusing in. In terms of with uh, one of our league's pro billiards has, has had uh, brought quite a uh, large amount of ladies through. Um, there was a 
we're looking at having a full championship of ladies, which means we need to have 30 ladies. That, are, that is our objective for next year. We had 24 at our current trials, so we're not far off it, and we're looking at having 40 next year, at least having another 16 ladies. So we're looking at making sure that the ladies is, is, is coming through. We had 60 under 23s, we had 40 juniors um, trialing. We've got more juniors, but only those amount that can be trialed. So we're looking at doubling what our number was for next year. What has been nice is we've had a project out there with uh, this, this uh, handicap kids. Um, we had deaf kids in Mitchell's, uh, in um, Atlanta, sorry, that we're busy with. And we got one of uh, a deaf guy playing in our league. He's actually part of, um, was part of our veterans trials and he did quite well. Got played out of Mitchell's plane. So we're looking at, 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 focusing on that part what our biggest development we're trying to do is in the Breda Valley and X Valley is the farm workers also trying to see how we can work with them and bring some farm workers and the farm workers um, representative into our committee so we can focus there and that takes a fair amount of money <coughs> do you have enough unfortunately not not as much as rugby <laughs> <laughs> That's <another issue. laughs> currently um, no we don't have enough most of the thing is funded by players and the amount that they get which is not much that we get back which is 50 rand per player from the national um, we get some funding from DCAS but we're looking for sponsors we currently don't have a sponsor and we're looking for sponsors to come aboard to uh, facilitate that we are how do people get in contact with you if they want to sponsor or get involved well we've got a Facebook page uh, let me just add our youngest player is 11 years old and he's currently the South African uh, under 14 championship champion sorry the um, oldest player that we have registered is 65 years old sure. so if you're in school if you're in primary school if you're in high school if you're at university um, or even if you're retired you're welcome to to join one of our leagues and develop a sport that maybe you were good at before and never really took further or something that you're just interested in um, the Facebook page that we have is Western Cape Black Ball Federation uh, please go on there you can message us and we'll we'll be in touch with you to help you get started guys thank you for your time it was good having you we'll have you back Thanks. if you are interested in black ball pool and also want to improve on your geometry young people because the, the sport does help for their geometry check out their Facebook page we'll be right back after the break